In this video, we're going to go over downloading your data from Google. You can export and download your data from the Google products you use, like email, calendar, and photos. In a few easy steps, we create an archive to keep for your records, or use the data in another service. We first choose the products we want to include in our archive, and then we can choose how we want it to be delivered. A few options are sending the link via email, which we're going to do in this video, adding to Google Drive, or a Dropbox or Microsoft OneDrive accounts. So it's really easy to export your data from Google. First, navigate to the Download Your Data page, which I'll include the link in the description of this video. You might have to sign into your Google account. Choose which of the products to include in your download. To see more details and options for a product, select the down arrow next to each of the apps that you want to see more information about. There are several different options depending on what you're downloading. You can even choose a certain label that you want to download in your archive. Select Next and choose your archive's file type. Just a note, your content from Google Play isn't included when you create an archive. To download your music, you'll need to use the Google Play Music Manager. And as I mentioned before, there are different delivery methods that you can choose. In this video, we're going to send the download link via email. But you can also add it to your Google Drive folder, or a Dropbox account, or a OneDrive account. Now we're ready to create our archive, so click the Create Archive button. And it can take a few hours or even days for your archive to be created. It depends on how much you're going to be downloading um, and what's stored into your account. Here we've gotten our email that our archive is ready and we can click the download archive button to get started with our download. Next, you're prompted for your Google password. and select the download link. You'll notice the archive is labeled as takeout and the archive date. Based on the options that I selected, I extracted the archive and I'll just show you what my mail are mbox extensions. So you can import these into other programs or my contacts, I selected CSV files and each of those labels were exported and then my calendars that were imported along with my full Google Calendar. Thanks again for watching. Please be sure to subscribe to get updates on more videos like this. If you like the video, be sure to give your likes and I look forward to your comments. Thanks for watching.